yesterday was Hanuman Jayanti. We saw the moon, yes. Purnima, Hanuman Jayanti. So I, one thought was coming to me. You know, uh, Hanumanji met Ram when Ram was not in his good condition. You know, Ram was in the forest. He was, he was, uh, he's a prince waiting, waiting to be the king. But uh, two hours before he was coronated, he was sent to forest. So totally different uh, aspect of existence. At one point in time, just waiting to be the king, next king, the prince or the uh, next in command. The ne uh, two hours later, totally different scenario. Then he was in the forest and that's the time when Hanumanji m met Ram. So it was not a meeting when everything was all right. Nothing was all right. And um, he stayed through with Ram almost through his bad times. Bad times in 14 years of forest. Saturn came to Ram two hours before his coronation. That's why Saturn took him to the forest. Saturn touches everybody. You know, nobody is immune. So uh, I was thinking about the surrender aspect. Uh, what Pakananda was probably mentioning too. Um, it is easy to be friends with somebody when everything is all right. When things are fine, you can be friends with the person easily. But is it easy to be friends with a person when everything is going worse or wrong with that person? Most people will not want to be friends with that kind of people. This is the reality of existence. So Hanumanji is a walking example of purity in that aspect. He wanted nothing from even Ram because he told, he knew Ram, who is Ram and why he is serving Ram also. He had full clarity. It's not like that he came and by default there was nothing else to do, so by default he <laughs> served Ram. It wasn't like that. He had full clarity because he told Ram that uh, this body is at your service. I'm your servant. Mind is at your feet. Your wish is my command. Soul-wise, you and I are one. So he already knew. And he said, let me remain unself-realized because if I realize you, I merge with you. Then I will not be outside of you to serve you. Rather, let me be unrealized so that I can continue to serve you. You see? The depth of how this is the true bhakta. A real, real bhakta who stood by his Swami at the worst of his times and helped him the best way possible and also chose unrealization or non-realization rather than realization just because he preferred to be a bhakta. He wanted to serve. So these are thoughts which we must understand. How many of us will stand with somebody when, he, when they are in a bad shape? Ask yourself. Why I'm bringing up this topic is because we are, most of us are, are fair weather friends. Isn't that so? Most of us are fair weather friends. Who supports people when they are in difficulty? Not easy. Right? This is something which we must understand. And yesterday I read one more uh, message which was very important or very uh, crucial about Hanumanji. Vatmiki wrote Ramayana. This is what I read yesterday. Uh, wrote Ramayana and uh, he was very happy with it. The whole story of Rama, epic. He wrote an epic. He was quite happy with it. Then uh, one great saint called Narada came to him and said, this is nothing compared to what Hanumanji has written. So Vatmiki was disappointed. The whole effort of writing the whole epic, he said it's nothing compared to what Hanumanji had written. So he went to, he went in search of Hanumanji to see what he has written. He went all the way and then he reached uh, the Kadaliban where he saw Hanumanji and he found that he has written his story, the, his version of Ramayana on the leaf of banana uh, plant. Six leaves he has written the whole story and it was amazing. Amazing means it was only bhav, the love for love and devotion was overflowing and that is what was uh, depicted on the on the leaf. He read that and he realized that this is uh, wonderful, much better than the uh, intellectual or the understanding of a uh, rishi about the Lord. 
then he uh, he was started crying so hanuman ji asked him why are you crying did i do something wrong then he said no no you what you have written is amazing you know this is great i could not write that i could not write something like that then hanuman ji said uh, but what you have written is also great this is also good why, still why are you crying then he said everybody will only read yours not mine because you have written something much greater than what i have written because this is from the heart so hanuman ji immediately tore away all those pieces all the all what he wrote he tore away and then he said yours should be read not mine i wrote it for myself you wrote it for the world so yours should be written not mine so he his bhakti his devotion was not for display it was an internal thing and what was overflowing was on the paper on the on the leaf so this is the true true devotee true bhakti you know when you are true to yourself when you are true to the true when your connection with the master is true it need it needs no display it it all it overflows by spontaneously there is nothing for you to do but um, um what miki what, what he wanted was the world to read and he he secretly expected the world to applaud so that was not exactly devotion there was a reason for activity when you are a true devotee there is no reason for any activity activity itself is the reason so hanuman ji did everything for the sake of uh, fulfilling the his uh, devotion to ram not expecting anything back at all that's a true devotee you know if you remember this then you can be true devotees whichever god you connect to whichever guru you worship doesn't matter whatever you do let it be 100% from the heart then actualization is simple you will merge without any difficulty otherwise it is a mental exercise you're not connected that much